They are among those who believe in the popular saying that time is gold. Time in Islam is more than just gold or any other precious mineral in the world. All religion, only Islam, guides mankind not only to understand the importance of time but also how to value it. Allah the Almighty and His Messenger of Muhammad tells us clearly on the value of time and how we can make use of it wisely to increase our Iman or faith, thus attaining success and especially success in the life hereafter. Both the Quran and Sunnah enjoys Muslim to be considered of time. We are constantly reminded that in life, this world is nothing but temporary. We never know when death has been appointed to us. We must value the time for the satisfaction of Allah the Almighty. For our guidance and success, we must never waste time nor abuse it. Uh, Ibn Abbas once narrated that Prophet Muhammad once said that there are two blessings that which many people lose. That are their health and their free time to do good. Thus, for a student to be successful in their studies, moreover their overall lives, he or she must have a good grasp of time management and have a sufficient amount of time, of free time, of classes to study or improve their overall well-being. With that being said, we have conducted a survey consisting of samples from 100 students from the CFSR IIUM on how much free time they have. The survey was conducted over a web survey with the method of spreading the information via social media such as WhatsApp and Facebook. The survey was conducted over a time span of 3 weeks to ensure a quarter of 100 students was met for a wider range of data and information. This survey consisted of a various series of questions. Most of them were mostly aimed to obtain the exact value of free time the students have. The questions asked were intended for to further the study the relationship between the forever occupied student life and the impact students end up facing time-wise. After obtaining the intended data, we made a table and a graph to calculate the mean, mod, standard deviation, and the variance using the skills we obtained from the statistics in Math 2 that we learned. It is well known that the public's perception of towards the amount of free time a student have will have during their student's life is minuscule. However, our analysis will make will be able to put that myth to the test and put an end to the misconception. This way, the data obtained can help students to manage their time and give them a more thorough insight regarding the amount of free time they will receive during their student's life. First of all, this is the raw data that we have collected from main question in a time span of 3 weeks and it consists of 100 different data from uh, randomly selected students of CFS. Next, we can build a frequency distribution table from this raw data and it consists of a few steps which is the first step is to use the search rules to find the number of classes using the formula k equals to 1 plus 3.3 log of n in this case n is equal to 100 which is approximately equals to 6 second step is to find the range which is the largest data minus the smallest data in this case is 13 minus 2 which is 11 the third step is to find the class width or the class size using the formula range divided by number of classes and we get approximately 2 and the final step is to find the class limit and determine the frequency for each class and there we have it, our frequency distribution table Next, as we proceed with some calculations we can get our second frequency distribution table which is more detailed the purpose is to make it uh, easier for our next calculation which is to find the midpoint x the cumulative frequency the frequency times the midpoint and uh, frequency times the midpoint square and last but not least we can find the sum of each and every value that we have calculated previously okay from this table after we have obtained the frequency and midpoints we need to search for the five important elements from the table which is mean, mode, median, variance and standard deviation. For the mean, this is the value of an average value from a group of data by using uh, this formula.
for this part, we can see the sum of fx from the table is equivalent to 868 while the sum of frequency is equivalent to 100 so in the end we will get the value of mean equivalent to 8.68 8 that's for me next move, let's move on to the median for the median it's a val it's a middle value for the group of data so to find the median we need to use this formula Okay, for this one, it is the lower boundary of the median class. So, from the table, we know that the lower boundary of the median class is 7.5 plus the sum of frequency which is 100 divided by 2 minus the cumulative frequency before the median class which is 38 and divide that by the frequency of the median class which is 19 and times by 2 which is the size of the class so the, the, the value of the median we will get 8.76 so now let's move on to the third element which is mode the mode is as we know is the largest percentage of a group of data which is the largest frequency from the data so from this table we know that the frequency the frequency, the highest frequency is 30. So, to search for the mode, we need to use this formula. So, for this L, it stands for the lower boundary of the model class which is 11.5 plus D1 is, is the difference between the model class and the frequency before it so we got 17 for, for D2 is the difference between the model class and the frequency after it so since the frequency of the after class is 0 so we can just Straight away put it as 17 plus 30 and the size class is the same, it is 2. So we will get the answer for the mode is 12.22. Okay, now let's move on to the last part which is variance and standard deviation. Since the formula for variance and standard deviation is almost the same, so I will be doing it in one go. So for definition of variance and standard deviation, it is mean by random distribution of the data so for the formula of the variance we can consider it as So, for this formula, as we can see, we just need, for this one, this is the sum of the frequency, which is 1 over 100 minus 1 times the sum of x times x, f times x squared, which we got 8559 from the table. And this is also... 8, 6, 8 over 100. This, all, the, all this value we can get from the table since we have searched it for before this. So the value we can we will get is 10.35. Okay, this is the value of the variance. So since the since the symbol for the variance is variance, okay, so standard deviation formula is equal symbol is this so we just need to move on the power to become next
parrot on the other side. So we will get the value is 3.22. Thanks. Now we have seen the data collected. We have seen the five calculations, the median, mode, variance, and derivation, all those. But if you realize, we're missing one important thing, which is this, our graph. Yes, as you can see closely, we have chosen to make a frequency polygon graph. Now I'm sure you're asking, why a frequency polygon? There are so many other graphs. It's simple. And that is it. It's simple. It's simple to see how the distribution, how the data are being distributed in this simple graph. All you see just mount up, going up, going down, going up, going down. It's easy to interpret. And also, if you notice from our calculations, we have found that our mean is 8.68 hours. But our median is very close by, which is around 8.76 hours. Now this thing is only 0 0.08. That's quite close. That's not all. Our mode, which is our most frequent data, is 12.22, which is on 12 hours. This 12 hours, this is free time right now we're talking about here. So we're saying that each student, on an average, usually has, well, we saw that the number of students with a 12 hours of free time is a lot. This means that students have a lot of time, time to study, time to use the time wisely, so they can therefore succeed in their studies. But one thing you should be aware of, the value of our variance and our standard deviation is very high, remember? 10.122 and also almost more than 3. And what happens is, this shows that our data collected, all 100 data collected, is all scattered around in a wide range. They're not all close together. They're not all on 8, 8, 7, 8, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 4, 3. No, they're all scattered around from 1 all the way to 24. They're all scattered around. So you see, based on our observations, we now know that students have enough time to study. And that's all. You see, by just doing these simple calculations, you know you know what to prepare. 8.68 hours is the average. Think for yourself. Based on the data that we collect, we can conclude that most of the SS student has a lot of time to work with. But did they spend it in a good way? That is the answer to the, the additional question presented through bar chart. Okay, based on the bar chart, the most popular choice that student pick is surfing the internet. The student may use uh, it for gaming or search for information to do their revision. And the second popular choice is resting. Well, at least you know that some students they start their class at 8 a.m. Then some of them finish at 6 p.m. Due to this, some of the students may have the tired body so they use their free time to recover back their energy for the, the tomorrow class and the last but not least is music music is the third choice for for the time that they use for the activity that they use in their free time and based on the research show that music help the student to study so uh, the student apply this method to help them prepare for the upcoming final yeah, that's all for me as a conclusion to summarize the report the time has been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the same to all us humans it is up to us how to manage our time since Allah has said in the Quran that who cannot manage their time will are people who wasted their lives. Based on the report obtained, it has been proven that almost all of the students have enough time to rest and also to have a remaining time for doing their leisure activities. So there are no arguing about their schedule is packed with classes all day long. If they got low marks on their test since everybody have time to study and prepare for their examination. People who fail to plan their people who fail in their life. Needless to say, without proper time management, uh, their bright future that is yet to come will be further away from them. There is a proper saying, money and knowledge can be gained, but time can never be turned back.
who you are today will determine who you are tomorrow. 